Hi guys, welcome back to Rywick TV and welcome to myself and Jack and a pair of minis. So what are we doing today? Well, I thought, we thought we'd bring two minis together because this is now on its second LCI? Second LCI. LCI, I, I. I, I. Yeah, yeah, confusing way. Basically, <laughs> LCI, for those that don't know, life cycle impulse. So it's a slight change in bumpers and so on. So today we wanted to get two cars together and show you the differences between an original of this shape and the current shape. So Jack, let's start with the front end of this one. The original Mini. The original, yeah. right. So yeah. this one is the first of this generation and it's a chili pack. Chili pack, right. yeah, so that's yeah. changed now because chili pack yep. doesn't exist anymore, does it? No, it's gone so now. my knowledge of Mini starts after this one. So yes. I'm finding out this is a chili pack, which yep. is what became the Sport, yep. which is very similar to what you've got there. That's an S, pretty much Cooper this. S, pretty yeah. much that. Which there. we'll That's cover in a minute. Yes. So this particular one from the front end, we've got chrome headlights, latest technology at the time, which was Zenon, which was Zenon headlights. Zenon, yeah, Zenon. Um, and we've got the LED ring, but it's a half ring around the yep. top there, and there's an indicator at the bottom. Yep. The chrome surrounds, and you do have the JCW um, Sport yep. JCW. That was that was a very cool thing to have. Wasn't yeah. It? You can, this isn't a Cooper S or a John Cooper works. It's just got the chili pack, as you say. Yeah. So it's got a slightly more aggressive front end front bumpers. And, and side skirts and, and rear, which we'll cover in a minute, but it looks a bit more aggressive, doesn't it? Yeah, sporty. More sporty, Yeah. which leads on to the sport. <laughs> so basically, it's changed. Key differences then. Yeah, so Chili Pack used to be the old thing. Now you have sport exclusive classic. It's yep. supposed to be much more simple. So this particular car is a Cooper S, which you can tell by this, yep. more or less. Bonnet vent. Um, the bonnet scoop, which is Close off. Well, locked in. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is a Cooper S Sport, which gets the more aggressive front end here. and actually gets your John Cooper Works designation here, but don't be fooled, this isn't a JCW. Um, it just gives it a more aggressive look, I think, over this one. It's sort of an upturned grille here with loads of openings and things. We've got different badges. Different so this badges. Is the yep. newer, newer mini. Looks a lot brand fresher, identity. doesn't it? Yeah, it's more yeah. new. And then the lights, main thing with LCIs, as we'll probably cover, Lights, bumpers, yep. pretty much, is, is yep. a big change. So lights on this, complete LED all the way around. The indicator is the whole circle as well. Lights are fully LED, and this also has the black pack. So black badge, black inlays around the lights, yep. black everything, pretty much, as we'll cover later on. And I think it just makes it look really fresh. It does. There's a lot of similarities between yeah. the two when you look at them. I like the vents, how the kind of front bumper vents. We've got this big intake here, yeah. and it's sort of mirrored on that side with a large intake at either side of the number plate as well, isn't it? But as you say, a lot they more fresh, a lot I more I think modern. the great thing about Mini is you look at this and you look at this, they're still so recognisable as Mini. Yeah. Like there's, there's what, when did these first come out? I think it was 2014-ish. Yeah. And this is a 2022 car. So what's that, six, eight? Eight years. Eight years. Eight yeah. years. And this, even though it's pretty much the same body style as this, just looks much fresher, doesn't it? Looks a lot newer. Yeah. yeah. So you can really tell, even though they're pretty much the same car, how much fresher and newer this one is. Yeah. Side profile? Not a lot has changed on the side profiles, have no, they? No, it's so nothing. We've got, um, on the side of this particular car, got the indicator here, um, which is a lot larger compared yep. to the ones you've got on yours. Much slimmer. Yep. Slim like that little decal thing on the side of it with yeah, the S, the model cool. designation. Um, LED versus the bulb, and then wing mirrors. Yep, wing mirrors, and notice that. These are much more aerodynamic and sort of yeah. different. Um, but other than that, the side profile is exactly the same. It's, it's so recognizable as Mini, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, but then the rear. The rear, rear is massive. Rear different. is hugely different. Yeah. Again, this is a chili pack, so you have got the, the slightly different rear bumper, so it's more aggressive. And you've yeah. got the, the John Cooper Works spoiler, spoiler, which always looks great, I would always say. You've yeah. got to have that on your Mini, I think. Yep. Uh, looks great. And then the rear end of this, the rear diffuser on these. It's so much more aggressive yeah. and angular, isn't it? I yeah. know this is a, a, an S, so it's got the yeah. center exit exhaust, but even on, it's incredible. even on the Sport Cooper, yeah. it sets the exhaust to one Remember side, but you still get the same. we did last yeah. year. So if you want to see that video, link in the top of the screen, but that was just a Cooper as well, wasn't it? Cooper, yeah. Yeah, and the, the rear diffuser on that was incredible. There's so much sculpture in the diffuser, and yeah. it, it's so cool. Really, really, really sporty. It really adds to it. This is still very sporty, but that yeah. just takes it to a new yeah, level, doesn't it? That new level. level. So they're the key, key differences exterior on differences. On the exterior. Yeah. So should we jump into this one first? Take a look around the yeah. inside of this. Take around a look in this. Yep. All right, so inside, very familiar for a Mini. Um, I've had a fair few of them yeah. over the yeah. years. Um, steering wheel. Got these round buttons on yeah. the, the previous physical the, buttons. Yeah, on this model. Um, the old mini badge right in the centre as well, but the steering wheel itself does feel very familiar. Um, what else have we got in here? 
Visual no, boost radio. Visual boost radio. Yeah. I was going to say, there's no nav, but you do get the visual boost radio because yeah. the cars at this point didn't come with nav as standard, did they? It was an optional nope. optional choice. Um, I drive wheel down the middle here. Yeah, Very Just familiar if you've used BMWs in the past. Yeah, Very similar way you use it. You just use the wheel and stuff. Very, yeah. very simple to use. Climate controls, yeah. toggle Dual switches. Dual zone, all that sort of stuff. I do love in minis how all these are like fighter, yeah, fighter, fighter jet, pilot things. Yeah, here, it's really, all, really cool. The tactile, that carries through to the new stuff as yeah. well. Got the LED ring around the centre console as well. Um, so that's carried forward. Although this is a single LED light, isn't it? Yes. Um, we'll have a look at how it looks in yeah. there. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, all, it's so recognisable. Yeah. I, mean, I love the fact that if you've driven previous, what were they, R50? D6, oh, 50, whatever yeah. they were, the previous ones, this was your rev counter. Yeah. So if you are a mini through and through person, it's so nice that this is carried through, but now it's modernised and yeah. it's even in this one, which is obviously the, the original of the shape, it's even more modern in that one, which we'll yeah. go and have a look at in a minute. But they are lovely. No, I did like that. I do like that. I, I love the interior of minis. They're really kind of classic, but modern. Yeah, they're really up market. Yeah. So. Should we jump in that one? Have a look at where the main difference yeah, is. Yeah, let's, let's jump into that one. Okay. And just like magic, here we are in the 2022 Mini. And you know what? It's very, very similar, isn't it? It is, but... With sprinkles of modernism. Yes, it <laughs> definitely feels newer. Yes, 100%. Not that that felt old. No. It's just this definitely feels more yeah. modern. Yeah, but the, the general layout, firstly, exactly the same. Yeah. So if you've had one of those, and you wanted to upgrade or get a new one, you're going to be right at home in here straight away. You're going to know where everything is immediately. Yep. Steering wheel, you've got exactly the same buttons in the same layout, but just slightly different. They look like they'd be haptic feedback, and yeah. I'm so glad they're not. No, they're not. And it's the same <laughs> under the honesty. stereo, isn't it? Because I've said this yeah. in the when I did a review of the old five-door I had, yeah. new one. They look like there should be haptic feedback on the radio as well, but they're not. They're actual proper buttons, proper which buttons. I love. So you get that modern feel with an yeah. old school vibe about it, which is great. Really, really easy to use. Um, same climate yeah, control setup and stuff, control. everything there. Nice switches are still kept in here, though. They're, they're, what do you call it? Aeroplane style Aeroplane switches. Style ones. Yeah. Love the new steering wheel. Yep. This is really nice. Feels really soft and supple and really nice to hold. But the big change is the digital display. It's so much better. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't yeah. it? It was first seen on the Mini Electric and the Mini GP3, um, and now it's filtered down into the rest of the models, and it is such a big step on isn't yeah. it it's so good likewise with the nav in the middle and the, the center screen the iDrive really crisp really clear really modern you can have Apple CarPlay uh, Android Auto on there as well so yep. it's just a really nice place to be and it's really nice and simple to use seats seats really comfortable yeah. seats sports seats proper, proper JCW seats yeah. yeah proper seats this car is specced beautifully as yeah. well we've got sunroof we've got it's got a, a lot, of, lot on upgraded it. everything in this car but the thing to mention with this as well is how big the nav screen is now. Yeah. Massive Loads screen, and that's standard now, isn't it? They, yes. they don't do the little screen with the little bits on the edge of it anymore. No. Comes with nav at standard, modern iDrive setup yeah. down here as well. And as I mentioned, comparing the LEDs, there's that yeah. kind of nice little touch with the design. Yeah, it's, nice. got that little it's not kind a solid of line anymore, it's broken off a, little... a bit, bit more modern. Yeah. Um, but no, all in all, as I say, you can jump out of that one or any Mini that you've been in, jump straight into this one, and you'll know exactly where everything is, you'll feel right at right home. At home. And it's really simple, really easy to use. Um, and I think they've just freshened it up and really brought it into the 21st century yeah. massively. I think it's, it's a really great place to sit this. Lovely. Hmm. So there we go. Thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully we've given you a little bit more of an insight into the differences between a 2014-2015 Mini yep. and the brand new model year 2022. Now, if you'd like any more details on this specific car, because it is an approved used car here at Rybrook Shrewsbury, use the link in the description. Further to that, if you want to see any of the benefits of buying an approved used car through us here at Rybrook, again, use the link in the description of this video. And Jack, if people want to see more Mini content, where do they need to go? You can find a playlist on our channel of all the Mini content where we take various different models and cars and stuff out for drives, do comparisons against other brands and other cars and stuff, and it's all there in our playlist. So you can go and find out a bit more about the Mini that you might actually be interested in because there is literally a Mini for everyone. Literally. <laughs> Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come, and we'll both be seeing you again very, very soon.